Hi, in this video lesson we will be discussing relationship between the amount of heat released or taken by erection. And the first thing that we need to know is a branch of chemistry called thermochemistry. Thermochemistry focuses on the study of heat released or absorbed by physical or chemical process. We have an example for a focus of thermochemistry. When two cold solutions are mixed and reaction is occurred, and our solution becomes hot, this means that heat is released. And that's why thermochemistry will study this process. Thermochemical reactions can be divided into two. When heat is released, these reactions we call exothermic reactions. But when heat is absorbed, these reactions we call endothermic reactions. Endo and exo are translated from a Greek language. Exo means out, endo means in. The units of heat are joule and calorie. Exothermic reaction. In this type of chemical reaction, energy is produced as a heat and is noted on the product side, on the right side. Total potential energy of products is smaller than total potential energy of reactants. The difference between these potential energies, delta E, for example, produces thermal energy or heat is produced. Energy is released. For example, when one mole of graphite is burned or reacted with oxygen, we have 393.5 kilojoule of energy released. In an endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed. In this type of reaction equation, heat is noted on the reactant side or the on the left side, as you can see here in an example. Heat, released heat is written on the left side. The energy diagram shows that the total potential energy of reactants is smaller than the total potential energy of products. The energy difference is the amount of heat that must be introduce it to a system or delta E. It means that heat is gained. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.